All right, gang, take two. I had to take the muffler off of this one right here. I moved the microphone sideways instead of facing forward or backwards, so hopefully the audio is going to be better. All right, we are going to measure center and center so that we know exactly how tall the spacers are that we need to make. This little attachment here will center on round stock. I'll show you here. It'll center on round stock, which makes it really, really handy. So that's why we're using that funky looking thing on that square. We'll set this on the flat, and they're both on the same flat surface, so we'll get a real accurate measurement. Here we have exactly five and one quarter inches. Let's go over here. We'll duck in front of the camera here. Sorry, you guys are looking at my fat head. Let me turn the engine a little bit so I can see it a little better. We are at six and one quarter inches exactly so we need to make our spacers exactly one inch hopefully you heard all that be right back all right i just reviewed it sounded like you guys heard me okay it was a little faint over here aggravating i'm gonna have to get me a wireless mic that's all there is to it so you guys can hear me no matter what i'm where i'm at or what i'm doing this is what I'm going to use for spacers. I'm going to chuck it up in the lathe and cut my one inch spacers off. I will center drill so that we can use our mounting holes and one inch spacers. And I have done this before and have had zero problems. I wanted to make blocks. That's not happening. These spacers are going to work just as fine. Just as good. Um, I'll show you here. We've got on our footprint on this engine and this is what it would look like facing forward we have center to center ten and three quarters inches from hole to hole ten and three quarters inches this engine's in the same position as that one and we have eight and one half inches so you can see that footprint is way 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 different front to back we're at six and a quarter inches on that one. And on this one, we are, we've got a couple of different uses, but five and three quarters inches on one. Uh, there's four different holes. So, but the widest is at five and what I say, three quarter. Yep, five and three quarters. So instead of going through all the machining on the block and whatnot, we're just going to make the spacers out of that stock and put long enough bolts to go through this, the one inch stock and the frame and have plenty of thread engagement at the bottom. And that should line this hurdy new engine up perfectly with the drive shaft because it will be in the exact same position as the center of this engine at that point. So let's get busy doing that. Okay, last time I used this, I, I offset my tail stock, and it is still offset a little bit. I put a centering pin in here, and I've got my live center here. And when I run the two of them in to one another, this falls just below and just forward. So I need to adjust my gibbs, get the tail stock up a little bit, and get it centered so that when we drill into our stock we're drilling straight through the center of it so give me a couple minutes get the lathe set up we'll get busy on it hey gang i kind of forgot about you i've got three of the four cut i'm gonna go ahead and cut this last one i bored the hole through um as i got interrupted a couple times and whatnot but let's finish cutting this one through here Just to let you know, I'm using uh, an alcohol-soaked brush. Alcohol seems to work best on uh, aluminum.
be. Now all I've got to do is go through and face all of them, chamfer the holes, and uh, we'll be golden. So won't be long. That motor will be sitting pretty in the tractor. Once I get these built, get measurement from my bolts, I got to go out and get, I'm going to go ahead and get new grade 5 bolts from Fastenal for this. Uh, so that we're sure everything holds together good. Grade eight's overkill. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to use some locating screws, which are kind of neat. See if I can get the right drawer here. Yeah, here's the. Hang on. Let's see if I can get the right drawer. Yeah, here's the. Let me use these guys right here. And what these will enable me to do. This is the wrong size, but what these will enable me to do is. To put these in the hole and they have a little pin on the end of them and I'll get the an oversize and I'll just lightly tap it so I can screw these in and the handle on these thing the end of this thing uh, enables you to use it to screw it in and once you get it screwed in then it'll protrude from the end enough so that when I get the engine in position It'll leave marks on the frame where I need to drill. So it's kind of a handy little thing to have around. But just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys. But we're almost there. Like I said, I got to run into uh, fasten all and I want to get some good bolts. I don't want any of the crap from the hardware, the Chinese crap from the hardware store. I'm all right with Japanese bolts, but not with Chinese. So we'll see you guys when I get all these cleaned up. Alright gang, we got them. Let's measure them out, see how they measure. I'm one of those kind of perfectionists. They didn't have to be this good. Right at exactly an inch. That's one. A thousandth off there. Two. Number three. Inch. And lastly, an inch. All exactly one inch long. So now, we can put these suckers up underneath the engine after I measure and go get bolts. Because like I say, I want to put some nice five grades in there with five grade hardware. So that Sean doesn't have to worry about it anytime soon down the road. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Nothing but the best. It's what you gotta do. Uh, hate to do it guys, but I have to cut this one short. I have been called away on a uh, well, kind of a an emergency um, where I'm needed. So we will pick this one up in uh, in the morning. If you guys like what you see so far, we're just about ready to stuff that engine down inside of the tractor. I've got the tractor sitting right here. Got everything cleared out of the way. Plenty of rooms that having it tucked over in the corner. And uh, we'll get the engine in and we'll pull the steering wheel and dash so it'd be easier to get to the wiring. Get all the wiring taken care of. And in a perfect world, mind you, I say and I repeat, in a perfect world, we'll hear this thing start up and move under its own power tomorrow. So, y'all keep your fingers crossed that that happens. That's it. It's your friendly neighborhood Zippo. If you liked it, give me one of those. And I promise I will see you on the next one. Oh, one more thing before I end the video. I am fastly approaching my 10 year anniversary of being on YouTube. So, I've got a little something planned. Uh, nothing major, but just a tribute to uh, the 10 years that YouTube has uh, 
been kind to me and that's all I'm going to say about that so that's it I will see you guys on the next one I just discovered a little something on my GoPro that hopefully will help with the audio we'll see Fingers crossed, guys. It's a 20 decibel boost for external mics. It's a new setting on uh, uh, an update that they had. So, fingers crossed. We've got an unboxing. This is from George. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we've got a new one and an old one. Oh. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. And it's from way up north. Maine. Even says up. That's funny. Maine, 1962 vacation land. That's awesome. You know, I like my old plates. George, George, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see what we got here real quick. Here, I'll let you guys read it. Read it right along with me. Found it on his great grandfather's farm. The other came off a truck he owned for only a few months. Hope I enjoy them. I absolutely will enjoy them. Thank you very, very much, George. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And sitting back over here, I have the North Carolina plates that I have to put up. I still have a couple of uh, Indiana plates to put up and then a couple more plates. I've been so far behind, but I'll get caught up and show you guys the wall as soon as I get everything on there. See you guys on the next one.